Welcome to Railfence Canada. I'm Shane Sege. Today, we're exploring the proposed Canada LRT extension, a potential 11-kilometer addition to Ottawa's O-Train network. It's not yet funded or approved, but the plans are very detailed, and we're going on location to give you a full breakdown. Let's go over some of the basics. This would be an 11-kilometer extension from Moody to Hazeldean. It would have eight stations, four of which would be at grade or an open cut, and four elevated. It would be fully segregated, just like the rest of the O-Train system, which provides speed, reliability, and safety. Let's take a look at the route that the Kanata extension will take as part of O-Train Line 3. The line will pick up from Moody Station, the current terminus from Stage 2, pass alongside the Corkstown Yard, and run parallel to Highway 417 and Corkstown Road to March and Eagleson Road. It will pass underneath and continue again alongside and parallel to the 417 until it reaches the Canada Town Center pedestrian bridge crossing. The alignment will continue on passing underneath Canada Avenue to arrive alongside the Terry Fox Transitway bus station. From here, the line will continue on passing underneath Terry Fox Drive and Didsbury to find itself just behind the Diamond Storage, Canadian Tire Pickup and Kids Can Swim. Passing again underneath the other side of Didsbury, it will start to rise up and become an elevated section to reach Compo Drive. The line will continue to be elevated and cross the 417 next to Huntmar Drive to reach Palladium Station, just behind the Canadian Tire Center. From here, it will continue elevated for a slight bit, passing over the parking to then return to ground level before rising up again as elevated to serve Maple Grove Station. The line will then drop down at grade before rising up one final time to reach Hazeldean Road and its terminus. Next station, March and Eagleson. So here we are right now at the future Eagleson Station at the corner pretty much of Eagleson and Compo. You can see the 417 on and off ramps over there. The station would pass underneath Eagleson pretty much right about here. So it would probably be trenched underneath. And then Eagleson as well as the on and off ramps on that side as well as the, the lead up to this one would be probably converted into bridges or overpasses to allow the train to go underneath. Then for more situational purposes, if we look in this direction, the Eagleson Park and Ride is this on the opposite side of the highway and over uh, Eagleson on the other side. So to make the connection to that, there would be a long pedestrian crossing that would come from here and cross over the highway onto the other side. It's a bit of a distance. It would probably actually be one of the longer or longest pedestrian crossings for a OC Transpo station. So that we take another look at it here, pretty much right at the uh, 417 westbound on-ramp. If we look around like this, you can see the on-ramp right over here. And the train would come out probably into this area here and then sort of go back to being parallel with the 417 off in the distance over there. Next station, Canada Town Centre. Here we are now at the Canada Town Centre station. 
We're taking a look just from the pedestrian overpass. The Eagleson station would be just back over there, follows along the side of the Highway 417, passes just underneath the pedestrian bridge here, and the station would be just in this uh, grassy area over here. So from the pedestrian crossing up there, people would just take the path, stairs or ramping to go down to the train station which would be located just down here between the pond and the 417 highway. So we're down now by the path, just by the trees and the pond. You can see the crossing over there. Highway is probably not even 50 feet behind this bush. But the station would be probably either around here or just beyond. Next station, Terry Fox. Here we are now at Terry Fox Station, just next to the Canada Centrum. And as you can see, this is a bus station that's currently in use, but the future O-Train station is gonna be located just to the side between the highway, 417 and the bus station here. Not a whole lot of room, but there's definitely plenty of room to make that work. So people will be able to just cross over from the train station directly into the bus station here for local bus service and connections. Here's another look at the bus station. You can see the island here in the middle with all the bus platforms on both sides. Train platforms would be just beyond those trees next to the bus. Next station, Didsbury. Here we are now at Didsbury Station. Would be located just in this clearing over here. Probably encroach a bit into the trees to the side. This is right next to the diamond storage. The Canadian Tire pickup and the kids can swim just right behind, right here. It would be an open cut trench. So the station would be below grade. It would have come from Terry Fox Station gone below grade to pass underneath uh, Terry Fox and then Didsbury Road on the other side. Another angle over here behind the uh, Canadian Tire pickup and kids can swim. The station back there would pass underneath Didsbury on this side and continue on. Next station, Compo. now at the future compo station off in the far distance you can see Didsbury station we were just at it'll sort of do a bit of an S curve cross a bit of a creek some overpasses and then it'll arrive in this mostly uh, gravel area here it's a Minto construction project which is actually quite nice and the station will be approximately in this area here where the gravel is. Somewhere approximately around here. And if you look to the side here, it's incredibly close to the homes, which is gonna be actually quite interesting. People living here are gonna have rapid transit 
right at their doorstep. It's it's insane. This is this is going to be like a great opportunity for people living around here to be able to go to other destinations in Canada, downtown, the airport, Orleans, Riverside South, Carleton. It's going to be fantastic. And so based on the map, somewhere in this general area here, just steps from the doors. It's quite a nice location. I'm sure should this station get built, it's going to be very well appreciated by everyone living around here. Next station, Palladium, Canadian Tire Centre. Here we are now at the Palladium station and it's fun to note that the Canadian Tire Centre, the home of the Ottawa Senators, was originally called the Palladium when it first opened in 1996. So the general idea here, there's a highway overpass over there that crosses the 417. The Compo station is farther back on the other side of the highway. The guideway and alignment would become elevated on the other side of the highway turn towards uh, this side while elevated, cross the highway and arrive here in this general area which we're looking at right now. Again, it would be an elevated station. There'd be a pedestrian overpass that would connect to the Canadian Tire Centre. It's not clear whether that would be envisioned as going into the CTC or crossing over to the front entrance because keep in mind the front main entrance of the uh, is on the complete opposite side of where we are right now this is very much the back side so then station would be here people would get off there'd be bus station over here as well uh, and there's uh, ample parking around here especially when there's no hockey games or events going on there's ample space around here next station maple grove Here we are now at Maple Grove Station, the train having left Palladium Station back in the distance over there would continue in an elevated guideway all the way snaking its way around to this area over here on the other side of Maple Grove. Station would be on that side of the street, elevated. Once the train departed that station, it would pass over the street to head down through this clearing towards the ultimate and final station, Hazeldean Terminus. Once again, from this angle, you can see station right there and housing and residential areas right across the street. So it's gonna be, again, another great connection option for people wanting to catch the train to go downtown, go east. It'll be perfect. Next station, Hazeldean. So here we are at the final station, the terminus, Hazeldean Station. And just next to the intersection where the trees are, the track will come across from Maple Grove and straddle both sides of Hazeldean. And the station and the platforms will be right in the middle of the intersection, but elevated. Comes into the station from Maple Grove elevated and stays elevated right until the end. Accesses will probably be on both sides here on both sidewalks, on both sides. And then there would also be some tail tracks that would extend just a little bit more to allow them to store one or two trains at the rear end of the station. So for things like events at the Canadian Tire Centre or other purposes to have more capacity ready on standby. So this is the station area. Again, it would be found in the treed area over here coming out and crossing 
Hazeldean Road from one side to the other, the train stopping right in the middle above. It's very likely that the Canada Extension will be built as three phases. The first phase would consist of Moody to Terry Fox. The second phase would be Terry Fox to Palladium. And finally, the third phase, Palladium to Hazeldean. While this is not set in stone, this is what has been indicated thus far in environmental assessments and studies. So that's a full look at the proposed Canada extension of Line 3, what it could look like, where it would go, and how it might be built out in phases over time. While it's not funded or approved yet, the planning work is done and ready to go. If you think this project should move forward, now's a good time to let your local councillor, MPP or MP know. Canada is growing and this extension would be a huge step towards better transit for the West End. Let's make it happen. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to Railfans Canada so you never miss our latest content.